We're going to be tier listing all of the Spider-Man movies, guys. This is going to be a little bit controversial. I did indeed get flamed on Twitter, but this list does include Venom. We'll go in order. Actually, you want to go in order of release or you want to go in order that's on here? We just go in order that's on it. On here, okay. Spider Man 2. Um, no, no, no. Oh, no, Amazing Spider Man 2. Sorry. Oh, 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 oh yeah. I'm just, uh, yeah. D. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a D too. There, there's no debating about it. Like, the movie, like, low key, like, I, I don't want to say it wasn't bad, but like, it wasn't good. It wasn't like, it was like, you know, I don't know. I, I mean, yeah, D, I, I agree. It's, it should be D. Okay. Amazing Spider Man. Oof. First, I think it's B. I think B. It's B. Okay, yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree with you. Okay, so okay, Amazing Spider-Man. Let's talk about. It. Okay, the lizard morph guy, decent villain, but the the motive was a little bit whack, in my opinion. What carries the movie is just the Spider-Man origin story is practically perfect, bro. Like, come on, yeah, Andrew it was Garfield. Really good first film. Yeah, like as a first film, bro. Like, I would. Uh, I'll say this whenever we get to that movie. Spider-Man 2, I think I think it's one of the only two that'll go in S tier, right? S tier. Spider-Man 2 is so perfect, bro. Like it almost misses the mark, but like it almost redeems that trilogy for Spider-Man 3. But Spider-Man 3 is just so <laughs> bad. Up next on the list is Spider-Man 3. I want to see C. Okay, yes, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. C tier, yes. I was thinking sad bad made Spider-Man 2. Yeah. It's not like good either. I would say it's like below average, like right below average. Yeah. And then, oh, this one's gonna get a little controversial. Uh, <laughs> okay, here's here's my opinion on Spider-Man: uh, Far From Home. It is a fun movie. It is a good movie. It is not a good Spider-Man movie. That is what I have to say about it. So, I personally, personally, I mean, personally, I would put it at. Oh my god, I'm gonna get. So, okay, what do you think, bro? I don't want to get flamed for this. I mean, I'm, I mean, personally, I'll put it at B. I think it's good. Oh no! Okay, this is. I can't debate. I think it's I'm solid, debating, bro. I don't know if it's between B or C, bro. I don't say it's as bad as Spider Man Three, though. Like, I think because it's yeah, still that's a true, that's movie, true. in my opinion. Like, yeah, I can. Like, I, I, I I would rewatch Far From Home. Like honestly, I would. I would. I would agree. Okay, I would go B. I yeah. wouldn't rewatch Spider Man Three. Okay, but this is where it gets a little tricky. It's Homecoming because. I wouldn't put Homecoming at the same level of Far From Home, in my opinion. But I wouldn't put it on the same I mean, level as Spider-Man 3. To me, I, I put it at B as well. I mean, I think both are just fun movies that aren't the best things in the world, but they're fun to watch, in my opinion. Average. Okay, I agree. I I, I'll put it there. I mean, I'll put it there. If, like, he, I mean, I'll put if it you like, put it at C, I wouldn't be mad at you. But the thing is, it's not nearly as bad as Spider-Man 3, bro. Like, Spider-Man 3 is a different breed. Like, but the thing is, I don't want to put Spider-Man 3 at D, so I think, I think this works. Like... Spider-Man Homecoming at B, that, that works, that works. Into the Spider-Verse, I think that's an easy S for me. Yeah, S to yeah. Bro, okay. Oh, Amazing. Into the Spider-Verse, everything in this movie is so well paced. Like, I would say this movie is like almost a 10 on every like marking on the scale. It was busting. Like, it was a great movie. Um, Spider-Man 1, okay. This is my opinion on it, okay? I'm going to go A tier. Because, because this, is my, this is my reasoning for it, okay? I do not think that it... I don't think it's on the same tier as The Amazing Spider-Man at all. I think it's a tier above Amazing Spider-Man. I think the only valid option for me is an A. Remember, I like the movie, but I would say, like, out of all these movies, at least out of the Raymond show, this was, like, definitely, like, aged the worst. I mean, it was the first one, but still, like... Yo, wait, 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 we're acting like Spider-Man 3 didn't exist for a second. Are we Are we doing that? Is that the plan here? No, I'm just saying in terms of like, just, it's so, it's so cheesy at times. Bro, know, it's, it's so a campy. Spider-Man, it was the first ever. But like, it's Spider-Man. just like, kind of like, cringe at some moments in my opinion. But it's like, it's like, it's still overall cool, like, enjoyable. But like, bro, this movie was made in like the 1600s, like, bro. Yeah, I don't This movie was literally made in the 1600s. Like, I mean, Spider-Man 2 wasn't made too long after, that movie, like, aged, like, fine wine. I don't know. I mean, Would you really it. put it at a B? Bro, okay, wait, wait. You're telling me, okay, uh, let me get this straight, okay? You are going to put Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man, the original Spider-Man 1 movie on the same tier. Yeah. Oh, my God! I, I, honestly, bro, I'm going to be real. Like, I think that Spider-Man 2, like, really, like, I think in our, our minds, or at least my, my thing, like, it makes the whole trilogy, like, at least Spider-Man 1 look better. The thing is, I would put it. At, I want to put it at an A tier just to make us not get roasted on Twitter when I post this. But a B, t- I don't know, bro. Like it's better than Homecoming, though. Like okay, just like judging as a Spider-Man film, it's so good. Red, like. 
<laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. Like, you can, I mean, if you, if you put an A tier, yeah. I'm putting it an A tier. I, mean, we'll I would respect it next to it. You will put an asterisk next to it. Burnley thinks it's a B tier. Burnley thinks it's just as bad as Homecoming, but Homecoming's not bad. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Homecoming's finally, bad, Venom. Technically not a Spider-Man movie, but technically it is. I'm gonna be honest with you. On, I think it's a high C. Yeah, I was thinking C. I agree. With okay, that. yeah, I, I would agree with that. Yeah, it's like it's a decent movie. Like it's just like slightly below average. Like it's there's rush to me. Like, yeah, it was really rough. Ah. The pacing was the pacing oh was Jesus. horrible, bro. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is Brilliant Eyes tier list for all of the Spider-Man movies.